Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see how to install SQL Server 2019 on your machine. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies, especially in SSIS and SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to install SQL Server 2019 developer edition on your machine. So the developer edition is a free version. It doesn't require any license. So you can install on your machine and you can do your development. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. So first of all, you need to open a web browser and then probably you can open Google. So what you need to do, you need to just search download SQL Server 2019, maybe developer edition you can add. And then open the first site. You can scroll down on this particular window. So you will see there is an option of developer edition here. So we need to install SQL Server 2019 developer edition. It's a full featured free edition, license for development and test database in a non-production environment. So we need to just download this particular edition. So uh, this particular file has been downloaded. We just need to open this file. So this particular window will be opened. And we can just select this one basic one because I'm just interested in like uh, writing some queries. I already have Visual Studio 2019 and SSIS installed on my machine. So a SQL Server basic installation will be enough for me. So now I can click on accept. So now it is asking for the installation path where you want to install the SQL Server on your machine because sometimes we don't have enough memory in the C drive so we can select another drive as well so it requires at least 9 GB of space so I have enough memory on my machine so I think it should be fine so I can just click on install so now it is downloading and installing the package let it continue all right so the installation of the SQL Server 2019 has been completed successfully these are the details that this is the instance name localhost and these are the details like the instance name is Server name is localhost and uh, SQL administrator log folder is this one. And then we got like features install folder, this one media folder, and this is the version 150. Now we need to install SQL Server Management Studio as well so that we can just connect to the SQL Server and then we can just play around it. So maybe we can just install the SSMS. So either you can install it from here or you can just directly go to Google and download from there as well. So the first and the latest version of SSMS is this one, 18.9.1 at the time when I'm recording this video. Maybe in the future you might see some more latest versions of SSMS from Microsoft. But at the time this is the latest version. So let's get this downloaded. Alright, so the setup file is downloaded just click on it to install it let me close this one so this is the default location just click install so this will install the sql server management studio tool from where you can connect to your database create a database write queries and just get that data so it will take some time to get this downloaded and installed so just wait for some time so it is being downloaded and getting installed. All right, so the SQL Server Management Studio has been downloaded and installed successfully. So let me close this one. So to open the SQL Server Management Studio, just type SSMS and you can see it here. Now let's open it and then connect to the SQL Server 2019 developer edition that we just installed. Okay, so this is my machine name and this is the instance name of SQL Server as well. Just Click connect. So it seems like it got installed successfully. So these are the system databases, and I can just go through this particular SQL Server. So guys, this is how we can install SQL Server 2019 on your machine, and then you can connect to it as well. So right now, as I have only this particular instance on my machine, so we can connect with name local as well. So just type bracket type local bracket close. So it will connect with local as well and then we can connect it with dot as well. So we can connect with any of the name if you have only one SQL Server installed on your machine. So guys this is how we can install the SQL Server 2019 developer edition along with the SQL Server Management Studio on your machine. Thank you guys for watching the video 
And if you like the video, then please click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos on SQL Server and SSIS. Thank you so much.